Welcome back to Badass Websites here in BOMU. We're currently in Module 2, Building Your Pages, and Lesson 3, Your Work With Me page. In this lesson, you will learn how to structure your Work With Me page, and I'll be just sharing some design options for each of the sections of the page. A quick note, your Work With Me page will showcase your available offers, but it is not the same as a sales page. To optimize for conversion, your Work With Me page should include who you are, who you serve, which offers you have, and which offer is right for them. So basically, while a, a sales page is dedicated to one offer, basically you have one sales page per offer, you, your Work With Me page is basically where you showcase all of your offers and help them decide which offer is right for them. So what if you only have one offer? If that's the case, then you simply share more information about your offer, share a relevant opt-in to optimize for lead generation because you will um, be optimizing this page for lead generation. Whereas a sales page, you wouldn't be opt-in, um, you wouldn't be optimizing it for lead generation, you would be optimizing it for a sale. And then you will link to your one, um, your offer sales page from this if you have one offer, um, just like you would if you had multiple offers. The, again, this is not a sales page in and of itself. It's a page that shows them how they can work with you, provides them details on what your offers are and which one is right for them. If you're just starting out, this page will likely be all about your buy anytime product along with a related freebie and um, some more information about how you help them. All right, let's talk about the anatomy of a Work With Me page. Your Work With Me page should include a hero section, a freebie section, offer section, and a general opt-in. So this is much smaller than the home page and the about page. And it has the purpose of this page, again, is to direct them to the offers you have and help them make a decision on which one's right for them. Even so it's still going to have a hero section like the home page and it's going to have a freebie section just like the home page and the about page. We're still going to be optimizing for lead generation um, here and we're starting to pivot them towards um, a conversion for a sale. So let's talk about the hero section. Just like uh, the hero section on your home page and on your about page, this is the only section on this page that has the H1 heading, okay? So it's gonna have a hero ti a title in the hero section, just like those other ones. And again, this is the section directly under your primary menu at the top of the Work With Me page. This is gonna be another place for you to introduce yourself, but the focus here is how you'll be helping them solve their issue. So this is another great place for your alternate version of your differentiator statement to make your services stand out from the competition. Okay, your freebie section. This is not the focus of the page. We really want to highlight your offer, so we're going to make this a small section, but we still want to make sure we are optimizing for lead generation for those who aren't quite ready to um, to take you up on one of their offers. They're not quite ready to buy, but we still want to give them an opportunity to get on your list. Now remember, people might be coming to your uh, Work With Me page before they ever land on your homepage or your About page. So we want to make sure this is um, prepared for cold traffic. So if you link to this page from an ad or from somewhere on social and someone uh, comes over from those platforms, and views your work with me page, you should be able, they should be able, it should make sense to them, essentially, is it, that they're in the right place, what you do, and all of that. So we wanna make sure that we're keeping that in mind. Again, do not rely on your schedule a call button to for lead generation, because a lot of people aren't ready to schedule a call with you. Just like a lot of people won't be ready to buy your offers, but they're more likely to hop on your list um, by signing up for a freebie. So we still want that on this page. 
okay? You're gonna have an offers section. This section will show your available offers, who they're for, and how to learn more. So the how to learn more will be the button that takes them to the sales page where you actually really pull out the value of the offer. So that's what um, this section is gonna be for. And then again, you're gonna have your general opt-in section or your global opt-in. And this is where you're gonna provide the general opt-in form for people to get on your list. Again, this isn't a form that is gonna be linked to a freebie. They're gonna be linked directly to your welcome sequence. And so you wanna make sure that you are using a double opt-in for this to prevent bots from getting on your list because it is an embedded form directly on your homepage. And we don't want them to uh, be scraping your site, going through your sky site, finding those forms, and then just uh, hopping on your forms because there are computer bots out there that will do that, and then they'll get on your list and cause some deliverability problems. So you want to make sure that this is you're using either a recaptcha or definitely using a uh, double opt-in if your ESP has that option um, because it will prevent bots from getting on your list um, for this. Uh, embedded form. So let's go ahead and take a closer look at some work with me page wireframe examples that I have prepared for you. Okay, I have three examples of a work with me page. Um, I have two examples of work with me pages for if you, for if you have multiple offers, and then I have one example that you can use for if you have one single offer. So in this example, we've got our hero section, we've got our small a freebie section. Again, you can do an embed in form or you can do a button. I like to personally do a button to avoid issues with having that embedded form on one of my core pages. And then when you scroll down, you're gonna see my offer section. So we have our cool membership section. We would have a little bit of text. We'd have a button, maybe an image or a mock-up of, of, uh, of the program, what's included. We have our coaching program here. We'll have a little bit of details about that. And in the section where you are explaining more about this, you wanna make sure the person looking at the page, just in the little bit of text you have here, can identify who it's for. And you don't have to go into every little detail of what they're gonna get, but you just need to help them identify who is this product for and will this be the right fit for me. Same thing here. So we've got an example of membership, a coaching program. And then right here, and this is something that I didn't talk about earlier, but I highly recommend it, and I did add it to the mock-up. This is where you would link to the contact me page. So the contact page is one that we're gonna talk about in an upcoming lesson. But anytime you have, uh, you have a work with me page, not necessarily a sales page, but a work with me page where you're highlighting these offers, you wanna give them a direct link to your contact page. And the reason why is that they might still have some questions that they wanna submit for. They may not be ready to ha hop on a call. Um, they may not be ready to buy, but they wanna ask some additional questions. And so you can uh, add a little section here that links to your contact page just to get them to um, give them a place where they can ask additional questions if they, if they do have any. That's optional, but I do recommend it. Then we have our global opt-in section, and then there's our standard footer. And this is an example of how you can set up a work with me page if you have multiple offers. In this example, we also have a work with me page with multiple offers. So you have your hero section and your freebie section, and then you will scroll down, and here is a different take on how you can display multiple offers. So in this instance, there's two offers side by side instead of doing separate sections. And we have our membership on the left, our coaching program on the right, um, a little bit of, of copy about who it's for, a, a few details about what they might get, and then a button that goes directly to the sales page where they can learn more. Again, we have a contact section just to highlight the contact page so they can get some more questions answered. And then we have our global opt-in and we have our standard footer. In this example, this is what you might do if you only had one offer. Uh, so you would have some information down here um, as well, and this could be for like a coaching program or something where they can hop on a call with you. So up here you'll notice that I did do a hero section that's a little bit different, 
And this one doesn't have a picture, just has a textured background. You've got the H1 heading, you've got um, full width text, and then you've got learn more, which can pop them down here to your programs or a schedule a call button if this is a product where they would need to schedule a call with you in order to purchase. And then again, some information here. And this is a good example if you're, they, you need to vet the people who are getting into your program. So they can't just go sign up through a sales page. They need to schedule a call. You would click here, they would click here and then go schedule a call with you. So this is a very simple way to do it, especially if this is your um, work or, or your buy anytime product. It's just a quick um, access done with you, done for you type of a thing or a coaching consult or something like that. And then this is another example of how you can highlight the contact page if they have any questions and there's the footer with the global opt-in in it. Now all three of these examples I showed you had different examples of how you can do the different sections. Um, you don't have to use the same formats I put down there, but these are just uh, structural examples. So this is like full width text with two buttons. And then on the other ones, we had an, a picture at the top with the he heading and the, um, the text and a button. These are just structural recommendations or, or different examples that you can use. Uh, but a lot of different uh, templates will have a structure that will also work as long as you have um, the basic information in those sections and those sections present on the page then everything will be just fine. All right, that's it for this lesson. It's pretty brief. We also have down below this video, we have a link to our work with me block template where I have even more wireframe examples for the sections, the individual sections that you can look at and you'll get access to those uh, full page wireframe examples as well. So definitely uh, log in. If you're listening on Hello Audio, go ahead and log in. Um, to the portal and click below the video to get access to that document. All right, in this lesson, you've learned how to structure your Work With Me page and how the design options for each section of your Work With Me page. In the next lesson, lesson four, we're gonna talk about how to structure and design your other important pages. We're actually gonna cover a couple different pages, including your content feed page, your content posts, and your contact page. So stay tuned. I'll see you there.